So today I'm gonna to show you how to change out a kingpin. Okay, so basically what I do, I have a flatbed trailer here. I've kind of already kind of got started, but I'm gonna show you guys how I got to the point that I'm at now. So what I usually do, I usually pull measurements from the front to find out exactly where the center of my kingpin is. So usually what I'll do, I'll kind of eyeball it. I'll take and I'll make a little mark up here. You know, eyeballing it wouldn't be too hard. So that's about center. And I do also do the same thing on the other side. So then I'll come up here. I'll take that center line and then measure and get in between my eye beams. So this would be the eye beam of the trailer. This would be the other eye beam. I find my middle. I go into the middle of it. Once I'm into the middle, then usually I'll go say eight inches this way, eight inches that way. 16 inches across to kind of make it one big this one has a counterbalance plate so this whole plate here is thicker than shit so we're looking at about one inch thick plate right there so it took me a little bit what i did i drilled four pilot holes in this and then i drilled through there and i just kind of followed it with my torch um i had a little bit of an angle to try to keep the slag down a little bit so now my goal is, you see your kingpin down in there, which is the flat mushroom type. Um, it's a little rusty in there, but not too bad. I tried to get out all the slag that I could. And I also have this cross member here that I kind of got into a little bit, cutting through all that, but I really didn't have no choice on that. So now what I'll do, I'll go ahead and remove the center plate here so I can be able to get to my kingpin. Okay, so we have the kingpin out. So basically what I did is one of the mushroom types. So I followed around the edge and then kind of cut down until I seen the, look, seen the other layer of plate down there. So then I washed it off, kind of knocked it onto the side. Uh, didn't really care about cutting into it or nothing because it's all trash anyway. I put a brand new in there. All right, so my next goal is to clean all this up. So what I'll do is take my wash tip, wash that down uh, kind of far as I can go. And then um, once I get that all washed off, then I'll get it ground down. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now the reason why we're changing this kingpin. I cleaned it up a little bit. And usually what I'll do, I'll take my gauge here. I have an old dirty kingpin gauge to kind of checks all your little measurements on there you can hook that bad boy on there and if it goes through that slot as you can see that it's in that slot that shows you that this kingpin is no good right there and then this here is our new kingpin so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go ahead and grind up where our kingpin sits and then we'll go ahead and clean up around this with the grinder so it's clean steel on clean steel and then we will show you how we weld that bad boy in all right stay tuned okay so we have it in we have it all welded up i went ahead and put my plate back and all that on there yep don't worry about the slag it'll be all right so basically what I did, I did four passes on my kingpin. I did one in the center where the two pieces meet together, which was really hot. I'm saying anywhere, I think it was um, 24 volts, 450% um, on wire speed. So I welded that in. So I did the inside. I did a half a weld on the half of that weld and then half a weld on that weld and then I did a cap weld to go all the way around the top just for a little extra it's probably a little overkill but hell it ain't really too much overkill when it comes to a key pin all right now I'm cleaning up this top place put my access plate back and then that'll be it all right guys here's our finished product all right not too bad I would just clean it up with the wire wheel a little bit 
paint it and she'll be ready to go thanks guys all right guys well here's my finished product not too bad put a little paint on there so try to keep the rust down a little bit yeah if y'all uh like my videos and all i'll make some more and try to make some more trailer repair content because we have plenty of it here um if good like and subscribe my videos uh this would be my first one that i've uploaded to youtube um if you guys like it and i could do more detailed videos on how to's whatnots and you know whatever when it comes to uh any kind of truck or trailer repair all right thanks guys y'all have a good one